It took one woman six months to get diagnosed with Lyme disease, and she's still suffering. She says she likely picked up the tick-borne illness in a Montreal park. Matt Gilmore has her story. In June of last year, Jasmine Rochecol says she began feeling ill. Best way to describe it is the day before you get the flu or, you know, another like just virus, you start feeling achy, body's achy. She didn't know it at the time, but she'd contracted Lyme disease. She says she spent most of last summer laying on the grass in Jean Mans Park and thinks that's probably where she was bitten by a tick. She says she didn't leave the island once in the year leading up to her illness. No one talks about Lyme disease being something that you need to be aware of in Montreal. But Dr. Donald Vinn says deer ticks, which can carry the bacteria that cause Lyme disease, can be found virtually everywhere in Quebec. But somewhere along the way, probably from a variety of things like climate change, what happened is that you have uh, this tick carrying this bacteria that's endemic throughout Quebec. Jasmine says regular tick checks could have prevented a year of suffering. If you catch a tick early on, that is, you know, 90% of the battle. Ticks need to be latched on for more than 36 hours to transmit the bacteria. Then if caught early, two weeks of antibiotics can wipe out the disease. Unfortunately for Jasmine, a doctor who didn't think to test her for Lyme disease dismissed her symptoms. I was upset on the phone, crying because I was like, please help me. Um, and she's like, no, you're healthy. Stop being hysterical. Her illness persisted for another six months until her family doctor in the U.S. finally thought to test for Lyme. She's since undergone two month-long treatments of antibiotics, but a year later, her symptoms still have not gone away. She says she feels let down by the healthcare system. The biggest thing that I don't understand, our vets are on us about, you know, tick prevention for animals because Lyme disease can affect animals too. Why is my vet better about telling me to prevent Lyme disease for my cat than public health is for us humans? She says she hopes her story will help prevent others from being in her situation. Matt Gilmore, CTV News.